Hey, welcome to the show. Uh, we're doing a little meet the team here. This is Aaron Puckett. Hello. We've got some really hard hitting questions going on. We just want to meet some of the, the faces questions. behind Fontaine Fifth Wheel. <laughs> Introduce yourself. What is what is your title here, Mr. Puckett? Uh, there have been many titles, but my name's Aaron Puckett. I'm with Fontaine Fifth Wheel. I'm the Vice President of Fleet and Dealer Sales. Awesome. I'm Brian Bowen. I'm on the aftermarket side. I help run our studio here. Uh, that was a good lead in. Can you name all the titles you've had at Fontaine? <laughs> Yeah, I started out actually as a parts a, a, a parts runner uh, for when I was 16 years old working for Fontaine. Uh, I've worked in fab shops. I later on you know, worked in uh, in maintenance and quality. Uh, moved over to customer support. I was customer service manager. Then moved into a product manager role to help uh, release uh, what we now are 7,000 series fifth wheel. Uh, at that point, I've always wanted to be in sales. Uh, they, uh, they allowed me to, to take a, a territory at the time, uh, so I managed a territory uh, for Fontaine back in you know, like 2001, 2002. Later on, uh, I, I was moved into an OEM spot where I was managing the OEMs themselves. Uh, and from there, uh, went back into the, to, into, into the office where I'm running, uh, running customer support again. And uh, later on, moved back into the field and managed it in the fleet and dealer sales for them. And that's pretty much where I've been uh, for, for many years now, probably since 2014, 2013, I've been in that role managing the fleet and dealer side. So with the fleet and dealer side, what is the, you would say, you have the favorite customer event you've ever done? But you have to keep it PG because this is important. Well, Mid America was always fun. I mean, there's no doubt that Mid America was back in the day was probably the uh, was, was the craziest times. Uh, and, P and I will keep a PG. I'm not going to go into all it, but it was always just uh, you know it, you know now they do the uh, NACV. You know, it's every two years. But you know, Mid America back in the day, it was every year. It was always it was always during uh, March Madness. Uh, I know they still have it now, but it's not near what it used to be. But it used to be such an unbelievable show that because you knew you, you see everybody there, and then and then just during the day it was a lot of work. I mean, you you you'd start out early in the morning, and and you wouldn't finish up till till two a.m. at night, and it was it, you do that for three three nights in a row, uh, and and you know so it was just it was just a great time. You know, Louisville is a great town, um, but that was always my the, the, my the, my favorites events back when I was younger. Nowadays, you know, we do a lot more, uh, you know, in uh, different events with different OEMs. Uh, we do a lot of fleet events, um, and uh, which I enjoy. We just got done with a great TMC in Orlando. That was really fun. I enjoyed it. Me too. I'm, uh, proud, I'm proud that you did keep that PG. Uh, we did. You we didn't did. tell any of the after uh, stories, which is great. No, no, I can't. You are that. a legend in the market. Market. How about that? Yeah. Um, that. After the shows, but that's why people love. Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I ask everyone this question, uh, so I'm gonna throw it out there. You know, who is your favorite employee, and why is it me? <laughs> Aaron, tell us about your family life. Tell us about home. Tell us about the. Uh, I've been married 25, 26 years now. 26 years now. Uh, you have a handful of home. Yeah, I do. Uh, so I got, I, I got. We, we, our, our daughter came uh, late in life. I was 34 when, when our daughter was born, so uh, she's 15 now, and, and she's learned to drive right now, so that's been fun. Uh, we actually, you know, you know, I started out, she's a, I said, you're level one, which was like in a parking lot, learning how to just use the brake and the, and the, and the accelerator. We're now at level three, so she, you know, I call it now. She made it <laughs> level three yesterday, which she, she's driving on the, on the, the main highways, not interstate. But on the main highway, she actually drove from our house, which is in the area of Birmingham, all the way to to to, to her grandmother's house, and it took took about 40 minutes. She did a good job. I mean, she did, you know, had to use the word slow down every so often, and you know, you know, yeah, that kind of stuff. She's learned, and uh, you know, our goal was to get to like level six, or level seven, because she, she turns 16 in September, and we'll probably go for the test. And I just October. put a 16 year old in a car. Oh uh, my goodness! This year, driving to school and everything. So yeah, it's fun. The the the, uh, the funny thing was the, like the third or fourth time she's driving, she I'm trying to teach her how to merge into onto 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 Highway 31 and and she and people are honking the horn. I was like, okay, we got to figure this out. <laughs> so I went on Amazon. I, I said I put in I found magnets that says student driver drive a, you know be, be yeah, just be courteous or whatever. So, so now I put that on the back of the car whenever I um, drive. But it's funny, I drove that car up here today and still had this tag on it, so people probably were staying away from me today. They probably were. So. so we'll try to wrap this up. I heard a quote from you that is, uh, 
That's why people buy from us because we are different. We are different. What is you? What do you mean by we're different? We don't, you know, you know, we're just we're not like your typical, you know, a lot, a lot of your. Uh, it's, I don't want to call them cookie cutters, but uh, that you know, a lot of a lot of the the suppliers out there are very cookie cutter. They're, they they have to fit a certain form and and. and and they're they're made to go a certain way, and, and I and that's fine. But my team and everything, you included, Brian, you know, we we get out there and, and we like to have fun, and but we also work hard. Mm -hmm. Well, it, you know, it's you know, it's one thing, but we like to have a, we we like to keep it casual. Uh, there's a reason fleets like to like to spend time with us because we you know we are loose. We let 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 things kind of we don't we don't like to just just you know be real rigid. Uh, but we also, when it comes down to there, there's there's a problem. We jump on it, jump on it hard and get it taken care of. You know, we we we, we will spend we will also spend money to take care of a problem on our end if we have to. I mean, it may not be our fault, but but we want to make sure that that you know, we want to we want to we want to make sure that fleet understood that we're working with them or that dealer. You know, and, and so and then that 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 it gets return business, and that and there's a reason that. There's so many large fleets that, that they don't just say they use Fontaine, they've been using Fontaine for 25 plus years. That's something I put in a presentation a lot. Said. There's, there's some huge fleets, and, we, and, we, and it's not just huge fleets, there's a lot of medium and small fleets out there that There's dealers that say they will use nothing but Fontaine because they know that, that if there's a situation in the field, and there's gonna be situations, there's just no doubt. When you're dealing with a fifth wheel, things are gonna happen. I mean, I've always said a driver can tear up a a uh, an anvil with a uh, rubber rubber hammer, and they can do that. Anvil with a rubber hammer. Yeah, that's a beautiful. Rubber. That's a beautiful yeah. quote to end on there. Yeah, Mr. Buggett, thank you for coming that's by right. the studio, yeah. sitting in with me. Uh, been here a long time. Yeah, not going anywhere, right? You're not going to leave us. And, no, you know, no. Gonna, I don't have to give you a yeti and a, and, yeah. and a going away party. And that's a whole. Well, other let's, story. Let's some We're gonna. No, I, I'm just saying that's a whole <laughs> other story for another time. So appreciate you, Aaron. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, stuff. Bye. All right. Cool.